action. Hi friends! It's me, Miss Erin from C.C. Miller Memorial Library. I'm here to do another story time with you today, and I've brought two books about dinosaurs. Just like on my sweater. Are we ready to get started? Let's take our wiggle wiggle fingers way up in the sky. Wiggle wiggle fingers. Wave them all bye bye. Wiggle wiggle fingers. Fold them in a ball. Throw them in your lap and do not let them fall. All right, our first book today is called Crunch the Shy Dinosaur by Sirocco Dunlap with pictures by Greg Pizzoli. Crunch the Shy Dinosaur. This is Crunch. Crunch is shy, so you'll have to be the first to say hello. Go on, say hello. Hello. Oh my, you've said it too loudly. Crunch seems to have run off. Do you see him anywhere? He likes the happy birthday song. Do you know that song? If we sing it, maybe he'll come out. Should we sing it together? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Crunch. Happy birthday to you. It worked. He's out. He loves birthdays because someone has one every day. He loves days in general. He's very positive. Try to say hello again. You can try it quietly so you don't scare him. Should we do it? Hello. Uh-oh, that was too quiet. He's gotten uncomfortably close to you. Try it one more time in a nice, medium-sounding voice. Bold, yet gentle. Hello. Perfect. You can tell he liked that because he's an appropriate distance from you and also because he put on his most fun hat and is dancing. Now you can tell him your name. Say it clearly so he can paint it on that big rock. He loves painting names. All right, Crunch. My name's Miss Erin. Should we see what he paints? There's your name, perfectly painted. You can't see it though because it's behind a big pile of leaves. Say thank you, Crunch. Thanks, Crunch. <gasps> your voice startled him. Maybe now would be a good time to be very quiet and very still and see if he climbs back down. Here he comes. Good job being so quiet and so still. Sometimes it's important to let shy dinosaurs come to you at their own pace. Crunch is tired from all the climbing and painting and socializing remind him that he should go to sleep by saying good night crunch let's do it good night crunch uh oh he must have thought you said good light crunch look at all those lamps let's try it one more time say good night crunch one more time in a calm and soothing voice Good night, Crunch. Maybe you can lie down when you say it too. 
to show him how nice sleep is. <sighs> Good night, Crunch. Oh, you did it. He passed out immediately. We should probably let him sleep. If you wouldn't mind, please close this book very gently. All right, let's do it. That's the end. We'll let Crunch sleep. While he's sleeping, let's sing a song together. I thought we could sing If You're Happy and You Know It. Do you know that one? If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. This time, let's stomp our feet. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. This time, let's shout hooray. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray. Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray. Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray. Hooray! What do you think? Can we do all three? If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Clap, clap, stomp, stomp, hooray! If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Clap, clap, stomp, stomp, hooray! If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Clap, clap, stomp, stomp, hooray! Good job! All right, let's look at one more story together before we go. This one is called, I'm a Dirty Dinosaur. And it's by Janine Bryan and Ann James. I'm a dirty dinosaur with a dirty snout. I never wipe it clean. I just sniff and snuff about. Sniff, sniff, snuff, snuff, sniff and snuff about. I'm a dirty dinosaur with a dirty face. I never have a wash. I just shake about the place. Shake, 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 shake about the place. I'm a dirty dinosaur with a dirty tum. I splatter it with mud and I tap it like a drum. Can you tap your belly? Tap, tap, tap. Tap it like a drum. I'm a dirty dinosaur with dirty, dirty feet. Where are your feet? I splash in all the puddles and I stamp about the street. Stamp, 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 stamp about the street. I'm a dirty dinosaur with a dirty tail. Do you have a dirty tail? I don't have a dirty tail. I flick it in the mud or I slide it like a snail. Slide, 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 slide it like a snail. I'm a dirty dinosaur. I'm yucky, oh my gosh. I think I'll stomp right to the swamp and Give myself a wash. Wash, 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 wash. Give myself a wash. That's the end. All right, I hope all you dirty dinosaurs are keeping your hands clean this week. Have you been washing your hands? Tell me what song that you're washing your hands to. I'd love to hear it. I will see you next time here at Storytime. Have a good week. Bye.